Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds and I'm a property investor, but I used to be an estate agent. And in this video, I want to give you the five top things that you need to know about estate agents if you're a property investor wanting to do deals with estate agents. Now, the really interesting thing is this. I speak to a lot of property investors or people aspiring to be property investors and they're really scared to pick up the phone and talk to estate agents. They find it intimidating. They don't know exactly what to say. And people say to me, Samuel, I need a script. What do I say when I ring up an estate agent? What do I say when I go into an estate agent shop? How do I build rapport and get relationships? And I really think you just need to understand where they're coming from because the biggest thing about communication and about building relationships is to put yourself in the shoes and understand where the other person's coming from. So as an ex-estate agent, this is where estate agents are coming from and these are the five things that you need to know. And the first thing is estate agents are just people. They're human beings and usually they're people who are actually quite young and it's easy to think they're experts in property and oh, I'm scared to speak to them in case I say something wrong, in case I look stupid, in case, you know, but actually an estate agent is just a human being. They probably don't know that much about property themselves. They're just in a job where they happen to be selling property. So that's the first thing. So just relax. People, people think um, in terms of B2B, business to business or B2C. I always think whenever I'm doing business, it's just H to H, human to human. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that estate agents are sales people. So this is the thing that freaks me out is when people, investors, almost feel like they're disturbing an estate agent by phoning them up and saying, I want to buy a house. The estate agent wants to sell houses. That's their job. They need to sell houses. So it's not like you're knocking on a cold person's door and saying, hey, is your house for sale? And they're gonna be like, oh, go away, stop disturbing me. Estate agents are waiting for the phone to ring and their job is to sell houses. So if you ring them up and you say, hey, I'm an investor looking to buy a house, they're gonna be really happy to hear from you, believe me. So you really, don't need to fear about phoning estate agents. The third thing about estate agents, and by the way, most of these things are, are all gonna make you feel confident to ring estate agents, because my job as a property YouTuber, my mission is to make people financially free in property. And to become financially free in property, you need to actually find deals, and to find deals, you need to build relationships with estate agents. So all of these five things should give you confidence. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, smash a like, also drop a comment, let me know what you like best about the video. Of course, subscribe and turn the notification bell on. For the rest of the video, the blue thumb needs to be pointing up, okay? I hope the blue thumb is, is pointing up, and it's blue, not white. So the third thing is this, estate agents, they are communicators and their job is to, when you phone them up, is to ask you questions. So in terms of a script, and this is a big problem that people have when they phone a state agent. They'll phone a state agent up and they'll think they need to prepare this speech. <laughs> you know, they're gonna get this script and they're gonna go, <clears throat> my name's John and I'm an investor and here's my life story and this is what I'm looking to do and this is what I'm looking for. But actually, it's really easy because when you phone a state agent, what you'll find is very quickly, they will lead the conversation and they'll say, what kind of things are you looking for? You know, are you an investor? Are you looking to buy yourself? What areas, what price? And they'll start asking you questions and all you need to do is just answer the questions that they're asking you and just be honest and upfront with where you're at. And if, you, if, it's, if you're literally just phoning up because you're just a bit curious and you're not an investor but you aspire to be and you just wanna see what the market's doing, then just say that and you'll find that estate agents They'll ask you questions, they'll lead the conversation, they tend to be nice people, and then definitely, definitely not scary. So that's the third thing. Fourth thing is, it's, it's really important to bear in mind that estate agents are on a point system. Now what I mean by that is, they get rewarded for of course how many houses that they sell, which is awesome, but they also get rewarded for other things as well, like how many viewings they book. And this isn't necessarily the case for every single estate agent, but I used to work for Countrywide, which is one of the largest estate agents in the country, and most estate agents do work like this. That means that at the end of every single day, they're gonna be asked, how many viewings have you booked today? And they're gonna have to give an answer. Now the higher number of viewings they've booked, the more brownie points they're gonna get from their manager or their boss. So when you ring up and book a viewing or ask to book a viewing, again, this is like music to the estate agent's ears. So don't feel like you're putting them out or, oh, is it possible? No, 
They want to book a viewing. They'll also try and do things like they'll try and book you in to see their mortgage advisor. And you might think, why are they trying to book me in to see their mortgage advisor? And the reason is, is because they're on points. Every time they book you to go and see the mortgage advisor, that's called an FMA, a first mortgage appointment. And I used to get asked every single day, how many viewings have you booked? How many FMAs have you booked? How many? And, and, and their jobs, they're on points, is to just book as many viewings, as many appointments as possible. So if an estate agent, when you ring them, if, they, if, if, if they're like, oh, I'm not really that interested, and they're not bothered about you, and they're not tr trying to help you and trying to assist you, then don't feel, take it personally. They're just not doing their job properly because they are on a point system. So I think this might help you when you speak to them because you understand the mindset of the estate agent. The fifth thing I want to say about estate agents, this is so important, is estate agents are your best friend. Now, this is so important because People think that amateur investors buy from estate agents, but then when you become professional, then you don't, you know, you don't want on-market deals. You want to find properties off-market and you want, to, you want to go direct to vendor and advertise when you're professional. But the truth is, when you become seasoned, you realize that the best deals actually do come from estate agents. And just because it's with an estate agent doesn't mean that it's, it's on the market. Because when you have a, a, a relationship with an estate agent, what will happen is they'll pass deals to you before it even goes on the market, which means that they'll, they'll get a call from somebody and a really motivated seller will say, I need to sell my house really, really quickly. And the estate agent, before they even put it on the market, will think, hmm, I know who might be interested in that, Samuel Leeds or whoever. And then they'll ring you direct. So I, I do get very, very good property deals from estate agents. And I think that a good relationship with an estate agent is far, far better than a good deal. Because when you've got a good relationship, you're going to get a deal after deal after deal after deal. So the purpose of this video was to give you a little bit of confidence in picking up the phone and speaking to estate agents. And listen, even if you haven't got loads of money and you're not a bit unconfident, my suggestion would be to go into an estate agent's office and just tell them that you're really interested in property, you're looking to buy your first investment, and, and just have a conversation. What's the worst that can happen? They're just people. Their job is to sell property deals, and if you want to buy property deals, even if you can't do it right yet, start building those relationships. So my challenge to you is to pick up the phone tomorrow, book a viewing, talk to an estate agent, and hey, if you end up getting a deal, don't forget to come back to my YouTube channel and let me know how it went. If you want to learn more about how to get negotiate great deals and the magic words that you need to use, check out this video right here. And if you also, if you want to see a whole playlist of people that I have helped become financially free in property, there's plenty of stories right here. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel over here so you never miss a future video with top tips to help you in property.